Hi elementary kiddos, I miss you so much. I can't wait to see you again. So this week we've got a couple of fun activities. I hope you enjoy. Okay guys, we're gonna learn a new game. It is called First You Make Your Fingers Click. It's about rhythm and chanting. And I have two of my favorite people here to help me. This is Lake and this is Griffin. These are two of my nephews. You just have to repeat after me. I'm gonna say something and do something and you just echo it back to me. Just like when we do a rhythm like this. And you echo it back. Nice. It's like that, but with words. Okay. Here we go. First you make your fingers click. First you make your fingers click. Then you stomp your feet. Then you stomp your feet. Both hands slap your knees. Both hands slap your knees. And clap on the beat. And you clap on the beat. Good job. Okay, we're gonna do it again. I'll echo a line and then you repeat. Here we go. First you make your fingers click. First you make your fingers click. Then you stomp your feet. Then you stomp your feet. Both hands slap your knees. Both hands slap your knees. And clap on the beat. And clap on the beat. That was awesome. Okay, now we're gonna go two lines at once, okay? So don't repeat me right away. You're gonna repeat two lines. Just wait till I'm done. Here we go. First you make your fingers click, then you stomp your feet. First you make your fingers click, then you stomp your feet. Oh, this is tricky. You have to stomp right when we say stomp. Then you stomp your feet. Try that. Then you stomp your feet. All right, let's do those two again, okay? First you make your fingers click, then you stomp your feet. First you make your fingers click, then you stomp your feet. Both hands slap your knees and clap on the beat. Both hands slap your knees and clap on the beat. Good job. <laughs> all right, now we're gonna do the whole thing all together at the same time. We're not echoing, okay? Are you ready? I'll count us off. I'll go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. First you make your fingers click, then you stomp your feet. Both hands slap your knees and clap on the beat. That's okay. Let's do it again, okay? One, two, three. First you make your fingers click, then you stomp your feet. Both hands slap your knees and clap on the beat. Good job. Now we're gonna try and do it with the actions, but no words. So the first time through, we can move our mouths to help us like that. Let's try it like that, okay? So you can mouth the words the first time, but don't say them. One, two, three, and. Okay. All right, we're gonna go through the whole thing. No words from our mouths, just the actions. Here we go, try your best. One, two, ready, and. Oh, I forgot. All right, we're gonna try to do some of our music notation things. Um, it's a lot harder when you can't be in person, but we're gonna try. In our music notation, all notes are either on a line or in a space. On a line means that you can see the line cutting through it. That's what on a line is. In a space means that it is taking up the area between two lines. That's a space. All right. So line notes and space notes. Oh, I don't think I can draw an S upside down. Line notes and space notes. Line notes. You need to draw a whole note on the first line. I want to kind of want to see who remembers this. There's a couple, there's a lot of different things going on. One, you need to remember what a whole note is. Do I know which line's the first line? All right, a whole note is just the oval. 
And the first line is the bottom line. The marker's drying out. Remember, we count up. So this is line one. Uh-oh. The first line is the bottom line. That's line one. And we count up. Two, three, four, five. So which space do you think is the first space? The bottom one down here, this guy, he's the first space. Okay, we count up with them too. Can you draw a whole note in the first space? In the first space. Well, my first space is down here. And I said in a space. So it has to be in between the lines. That's in a space. We're just gonna do a couple more of these, okay? All right, draw a whole note on the fourth line. Fourth line. I'm gonna count up to the fourth line. And I said a whole note on the line. That means the line's going right through it. I can see the line cutting through it. All right, let's do one more. Draw a whole note in the third space. The third space, draw a whole note. It's my third space here. There we go, see, one, two, three, third space. Okay. Okay, some of the elementary classes, and I'm sorry, but I honestly do not remember which ones. We started working on the names of the notes in these lines and spaces. Remember that we use our musical alphabet, which is just the first seven letters of the alphabet. So we're gonna go, oh, I wrote too big. <laughs> A, B, C, D, E, F, G. These are the only letters that are used in music for names of notes. On here, I have written in treble clef, the notes that are on lines, E, G, B, D, F. There's a little saying that goes with that to help you remember. Every good boy does fine. Every good boy does fine. So if you can remember those words, it will help you name the notes on this side. Now there's a different one for the space notes. The space notes actually spell a word. Can you see what that word is? F-A-C-E, face. So the notes in the spaces spell face. I used to tell kids, your face is in my space. To help them remember. If you can figure out the name of these notes, this spells a word. Let's see, did you write down the um, every good boy does fine and face. If not, just go back to that part in the video and push pause and look at it. What is this first note? It goes in the first space. Go see if you can find it. Okay, the first space is F. So this word starts with an F. This note is on the first line. So it's every. Every good boy does fine. So this is an E. My third note is way up here. Which space is this? One, two, three, four. The fourth space. Your face is in my space. What's the fourth letter of face? E. So this is another E. And the last note is on, is that a line or a space? Good, it's a line. Which line? One, two, three, four. The fourth line. See if you can figure that one, find it. What does our word spell? Feed. Okay, another word. This word has three notes or three letters. So first thing we gotta do is figure out, is this first note a line or a space note? It's a line. 
Which line? Is it seven? 22? One, two, three, four. It's the fourth line. Every good boy does fine. Every good boy does. Does was the fourth word. So that note is D. All right, the next whole note. Is it a line or a space? Space note. Which space? First, second, third, fourth? Second. One, two. Second space. Spaces spell the word face. What's the second letter of face? Booyah. Um, and look at this. This is the same note that I have right here. It's on the fourth line. Every good boy does. I ran out of fingers. Does. Dad. These notes spell dad. We're going to do another one of these. All right, guys, for something fun and different, I've put together a little montage, which means a group of clips of my nephew Carson playing um, some sports. He's very athletic and I actually made a bigger, longer version for him to share with his teammates because that's something they're all doing right now is their coach is having them make videos of doing their baseball drills and then they're all sending them in and sharing them with each other. But I made about a 40 second little clip and I'm going to put different background music to the clip each time. We're going to go through three different options. Yo. And I want you to think about what kind of music goes best with it, with the mood, with what he's doing. Here's choice number one. <laughs> number three. one of those did you like better with the sound? I have a favorite, but of course I chose all those songs because I like all those songs, but they're all very different moods, right? I hope you enjoyed the lesson today. See you next time.